I mean, how you doing? Uh, t- tell us some. Um, tell us about your spring first of all, and then um, we we had fun watching that drill down on the goal line. Uh, receivers versus DBs today. What was that like? Uh, the perimeter drill. Yeah, that was that was a pretty good drill. It's a drill where uh, receivers work on blocking, and we work on getting off blocks. So it's a real good competition drill to get the practice started. You know, get the blood flowing. So yeah, that was a good little competitive drill to get us ready uh, for practice. And also, um, the drill that was just one on ones, DBs versus receivers. Looks like they might have got the better of y'all today. Oh yeah, uh, the receivers. The receivers had their days. Uh, we have our days, but um, we have some really good receivers. You know, they keep us. They keep us getting better every day, and we challenge them every day to get them better. So even like before practice, but when we're doing warm ups, uh, Mike Woods talked today. Even he said uh, the DBs get us better today and receivers, we're going to push off as hard as we can. Thanks, Darren. No problem. Scotty. Hey, Simeon, I asked Coach Pittman about you after the second scrimmage the other day. He said you're a guy that's playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, I'm just curious, like, how did you go about growing your confidence and, and expanding your game to the point where you're, you know, kind of consistently with that first group? Uh, one thing that I did, um, Coach Carter really talks to us about like the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So I just went about trying as hard as I can in every aspect of my life, even if that's education, if that's football, I'm going to do it to the max. So like if I need to get my work done. I'm going to get that done beforehand. That way I can watch more film and film has been a big part in why I've been playing uh, more confident this spring because I watched more film. I feel like than I did in my entire life. And it's good to see that paying off for me. It, Trey Knox just told us too that you're a guy that's you know not afraid to to hit people. Have you always played with that kind of sense of physicality, or did you kind of pick it up you know somewhere along the way coming up? Um, I've always played like that. Um, there's only one way you can play defense. You got to play defense violent. You got to play it fast. So you know, I just try to keep that in my mind every play, even if we in practice. I try to be in game mode even in practice because. The way you practice is the way you're going to play. So if you practice soft and not running fast to the ball every play, you're going to do that in the game on some plays. So I just try to keep that in my mind to practice hard because that's how the game going to be. Nate? I guess we had Trey Knox earlier. Just have you seen any difference in him this spring than what you saw of him last fall? Oh, yeah. Trey Knox, he's worked his butt off. He's got uh, better at running routes. Just he's trying to take his entire game to the next level. We have did some um, one-on-one just drills before the spring ball even started. And we were just giving each other pointers on, like, what a DB look at for a receiver and what the receiver look for in the DB. So we were just trying to give each other some more knowledge to get better. And I've seen him use that on the field in his route running, in his speed, and everything he's done. Also, with the depth in the secondary, has it, how has it been adjusting to playing with so many different people, you know, within the secondary? Uh, the secondary, we're a real close-knit group. We love to be around each other. So, like, at the beginning, we always rotated in. That way I was playing with different people almost every day. That way when you get in there with them people, you're able to talk and you're able to communicate with them. And I just feel like uh, we're very strong back there. We have done a better job at communicating this year. And communication has been the key, especially when we have so many DBs back there. Thank you. No problem. Coach? Simeon with the, about Trey, <clears throat> he, uh, he's a you know former highly recruited guy and kind of saw his playing time decrease last year. It's pretty common to see those kind of guys enter the portal. What does it say about him that he's stuck it out here at Arkansas? Oh man, he's a hard worker. He seen what happened to him last year and he actually picked it up in every winter workout and everything we did, he competed his butt off. And that's one thing I feel like we've gotten better at as a whole team. It's just competing. Even though we're friends off the field, when you get on that field, it's business. And he really took that to the next level. He's really worked his butt off. One of the hardest workers I've seen all winter. And I was wondering what your impressions are of one of the young guys, Jaden Johnson, so far this spring. Oh, Jaden Johnson, he's one of the guys, um, he stays in the film room. And that's something that's real rare for a freshman. But it seems like every time I'm in there watching film, when I got a free time, he's in there watching film. 
and he's a, he's kind of a bigger safety, you feel me? So he's real nice. He has good footwork, and he will hit you. He's a, a very hard hitter. Dre? Hey, Simeon, you may not be able to answer this, but with you guys doing the three two six, you got three safeties out there, boundary safety, field safety, middle safety. I'm just curious who goes where, because y'all move around so much, it's hard for, you know, somebody just to tell. Well, Can you give us well, in our defense, uh, Coach Carter and Coach Oden do a big job on emphasizing. Um, you have to know the entire defense, mm -hmm. especially when we play so many DBs. You might get caught in some situations where the boundary safety might end up having to do the Nichols job. So, like, we all move around. We all play different positions. And I feel like Coach does that just in case something happens during the season or anything. We all know everybody's position back there. So you could be just out there on the field thinking you're in middle safety and you're playing nickel. Yeah, depending on the formation offense, you got to know you got to know both sides of the field. You got to be able to play both all three safety positions. And once you learn the – really learning the entire defense really helps you play faster. So if you know all of them safety positions, you'll be able to play either one of them, you'll be able to play fast. Let me ask you this then, just for the sake of putting together a depth chart. When they blow the whistle and they say, first team go out there, where are you lining up? Where are the first three guys lining up at safety? Uh, yeah. Uh, just well, for the you know, depth chart. Uh, what was that? Just for the sake of a depth chart. Where, <laughs> where, 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 who's the middle, who's boundary, who's field? Oh, um, well, I play field some days. Some days I play boundary. Uh, Joe Fouché played boundary and field. Uh, Catalan can play all three. And um, Slush also plays some field. So me, Joe, uh, Catalan, and Slusher. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, let me know if we got more questions in the chat. Tom? Hey, Simeon, saw this week where you guys have started working some of your four, man. Just a good way to – Stay flexible and stuff. What what did you see out of it so far? Uh, we're just trying to we're we're emphasizing that you know just in case we do have to switch up. Um, we're doing that more for run stopping, and we're seeing our D linemen. We're trying to get our D linemen to step up, and they're doing a great job just keeping them to stay disciplined. And it helps on the run when you have four D linemen that do their job. It makes it easier on the linebackers. It makes it easier on the DBs. So I feel like. We look, we've looked pretty good in our four down line, and just as good as we looked in our three, two, six look. Thanks. No problem. All right. That'll wrap us up with Simeon. Thanks, Simeon. Thank y'all.